Hi, my name is James Urquhart. I'm the market strategist for cloud computing and data center virtualization at Cisco Systems. And I'm also author of the CNET blog network blog, The Wisdom of Clouds. And I want to talk to you today about some core cloud computing concepts that uh, we think are really critical to understanding what your options are, what your choices are in the market. Uh, our enterprise customers are looking at cloud computing and trying to figure out what's the right approach for them to take, what's the right way to get into the benefits of cloud computing without losing the value and the benefits that they have in the data centers they've built to date and the risk management systems they put into place, the governance systems, and so on. So we're going to kind of talk through some core differences between the concepts of internal and external clouds versus private and public clouds. And these distinctions are important when you begin to realize that internal and external clouds has to do about where the ownership of the resources resides or where the, where the resources themselves reside in the environment versus private cloud and public cloud, which have to much more to do with where the control of those resources reside. So uh, just to kind of walk you through it, an internal cloud is really about cloud resources that are wholly owned by the company, operated behind the firewall, or operated perhaps in an outsourcing arrangement dedicate, in a dedicated fashion by some other party. Uh, external clouds are cloud resources that are operated entirely by a third party environment, usually for multiple customers at the same time, and are entirely outside of the firewall of the organization. Private cloud and public cloud, on the other hand, have to do with where that control point is. And the best example I can give you of that is, imagine you have a cloud environment and you've built the front end on Google App Engine. It's a, it's a GUI system that you've built using App Engine. Um, you've got the customer control systems, uh, the customer data systems being run on force.com as a part of your salesforce.com implementation. And you've got some massive data processing against the data generated by the application happening on Amazon Web Services. In a public cloud environment, you're going to have to go to the control systems of each of those applications in order to be able to manage the application system as a whole. So you have to go to Google App Engine to manage that component. You'll have to go to salesforce.com to manage the, the component running your customer data and so on. With a private cloud environment, the goal is to create a single control environment where the enterprise can define what's included in the private cloud, uh, as well as what are the control systems, what are the, the security systems, the trust systems, the risk mitigation systems that are applied to that cloud environment, what resources are included in that private cloud environment. And so in that environment, we're giving the enterprise the ability to basically manage a private cloud as they define it. And we think that this is the approach that most enterprises are looking for. It gives them a way to transition in an environment with a single control system to using both internal and external cloud resources in the same private cloud environment. And that's a really critical distinction and something that we think will influence the direction that enterprise computing moves forward from here. Thank you.